Let's start in mountain pose. Have your feet about six to eight inches apart so the feet are right underneath the hips. Let the legs be parallel with each other. Look at the feet and make the feet parallel so the outside of your foot is parallel with the outside of the mat. A good spread of your toes. And pressing your heels down into the ground. A lot of times in yoga we call that grounding the feet. Pressing those heels down and drawing up through the legs. I want you to slightly contract your quadricep muscles, the front of your thighs so that your kneecaps are lifted. This will engage the legs. From those strong legs, I want you to lengthen the sides of your waist so that your lower back feels light. Now, a lot of us, when we're standing, collapse our chest. And so Colleen will show you this common mistake. We collapse our chest, we have our shoulders rounded forward, and our head often is in front of our heart. Take your thumbs in your armpit chest and feel the front of the armpit lift up as the shoulder blades press firm into the back. As you do that, there's a little tendency to over push the lower ribs. So relax the lower ribs, relax the throat, and have the head right over your chest. So begin to play with the balance of the head over your chest, the chest right over your pelvis, the pelvis right over those strong, grounded legs. Strong legs, Long waist, open chest, balanced head. Now take the arms down beside you. Keep the chest lifted. This is mountain pose. People think of vinyasa just as sun salutations. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale chaturanga. You can get this beautiful rhythmical movement in a safe sequence in poses that are not intimidating.